For some people, using a number line is an easier way to see the difference between numbers, as far as which number is greater, which number is less. So I'm going to show you how you can compare numbers using a number line. We'll start by comparing 6053 to 6079. Now in the previous video I showed you how to do it using place value, which I'm about to review. And when you're done watching this video, if you still like doing place value, that makes it easier for you, then go ahead and use that. But you will be asked sometimes during assessments and such how to um, show differences in numbers using a number line. So don't stop watching. And using place value, we would line up our two numbers. I put 6,053 on top, so it's the first number, and 6,079 on the bottom. Always start by looking at the number of the thousands place. Six is the same. The digit in the hundreds place is zero. That's the same. The digit in the tens place is different. Five is less than seven. So if you look up here, here's the five, there's the seven. So without even caring what the ones are, we know that 6,053 is less than 6,079 because of the 5 and the 7, the digit in the tens column. Well, let's compare that same number using a number line. And first, I want to talk a little bit about this number line down here. Uh, most often, number lines will be given to you. And as you can see, there's an arrow on the left, which means this is a line that goes on forever in that direction. And there's an arrow on the right. The line also goes on forever in that direction. That's the definition of a line. Um, Way over here on the left would be zero, and then way over here is millions and billions and all that, right? But we're looking at these two numbers. So what we want to do is try to place 6053 onto the number line. Well, how do we figure out where to place it? How is this number line broken apart? This mark here stands for 6040. This mark stands for 6050. So the numbered marks are increasing by 10, right? Which means these marks halfway through would be halfway between 40 and 50, or 45. This mark is halfway between 50 and 60. It's 55, right? 65, 75. They didn't mark, and they won't mark the 1, 2, 3, 4, the 6, 7, 8, 9, because it just makes your number line look too busy. We're not a ruler here. We're not going to show all those smaller ones. So in order to place 6,053 on this number line, it's going to be somewhere between 6,050 and 6,060, right? In fact, it's going to be between 6,050 and 6,053, I mean 55. So it's going to be right about there. And then we'll draw a little line up here to show that we're connecting this number, 6,053, to this point on the number line. Well, let's do the same thing with 6,079. It's very close to 6,080, isn't it? It's more than 6,070. It's more than 6,075. In fact, it's only one away from 6,080. There it is. Once again, we're going to put the dot here, the point on the line, and then we're going to draw a line to connect it to the number. And now we can clearly see. Remember I said in the beginning, over here is zero, and numbers get bigger as they move to the right on number lines. So that means if 6,053 is to the left of 6,079, then it is smaller. It is less than. All right? So using a number line, we've proven that 6,053 is less than 6,079. Here's another example for you. Now we're going to compare 942 to 842. And on this number line, it looks like we're now going by 50s. And we're not going by 10s anymore. Remember the last number line? It was increasing by 10. Well, this time we're increasing by 50 because the difference between these two numbers is much greater. And on the same size number line, they're going to show you a difference in the gaps. So, the difference between the marked hashes, or the marked, the marks with numbers on them, is 50. 800 to 50, 850 to 900, 950 to 1000. Which means, the marks in between, remember they're halfway in between, are 25. So this is 825. This is 875, just like quarters, right? 925, 975. So again, your first task is to mark the first number. Where would it be? Well, somewhere between 925 and 950. You've got to figure out where about 42 would be. 
and I put it here. Is it perfectly accurate? No, don't worry about that. You need to show that it's probably going to be closer to 950 than 925 because it's only 8 away from 950. And there's the line to show you that that's the number. Now we're going to mark 842. 842 is going to be less than 850, but more than 825, probably on the same place of the number line, away from 950, right there. Check it out. And there it is. So that's about 842. Our lines are going to cross, which means, as those, these numbers are written, 942 is to the right of 842. So we're going down when we go this way, which means 942 is greater than 842. It's bigger. Now sometimes when you're comparing numbers, you're going to be asked to draw your own number line, which I'm going to walk you through very quickly. Uh, we're going to be comparing 186 to 168. Those of you who have been watching these videos now, you've been practicing some problems, you can tell that this number is greater than that number, and that's actually very good because it can help you draw your own number line. Um, but even if you can't, we're still going to create the number line and then see which one of these is bigger. So, first thing to do when you're drawing a number line, I'm going to try to draw the same one that I did using this um, app earlier, but it's not going to be as perfect. So there's my straight line. If you want a straight line, go ahead and get out a ruler. You can make it straight, but for most purposes, they're going to ask you just to sketch one. It doesn't need to be perfect. Then I'm going to put a mark close to the arrows on both sides. Then I'm going to put a big mark in the middle. And then I'm going to cut the section in half and this section in half. Those are going to be the marks that I put numbers on. And then we usually on number lines, we'll show you half of those like I did earlier, but we're not going to put numbers on them. Okay? So now, let's look at these numbers. We're comparing 168 to 186. We already know this is smaller and this is bigger. So what I'm going to do is put the 168 Eight, it's going to be somewhere in this area. So that means in order to label this number line, which they're going to want you to do, I'm going to make this mark 160. That'll be 165, 170. Um, you're going to be working with pencil. If you make some mistakes, you can fix it. There's 180. There's 190. There's 200. It's okay to have a large chunk of your number line not be used. That's perfectly fine. All right? So there we go. We've got our number line all set up and ready. Now all we need to do is place our points. So 186 is going to be somewhere between 180 and 190. In fact, it's going to be a little more than 185. It's going to be right about here. And 168 is going to be a little less than 170. Let me show you. All right, so I've got my points in. Here is 168. Here is 186. Draw our lines to show which number, which um, point stands for which number. And now we can clearly say that 186 is greater than 168. All right, it's time to play at home. Are you ready? Using this given number line, you're going to place 8,479 and 8,749 on the number line. You're going to connect them with a line to show which point stands for which number. And then you're going to say which is greater than and less than. Pause if you need some more time because here comes the answer. 8,479 would be right around here. Notice the number line was broken up into hundreds. So these smaller lines are 50. This would be 8,450. So it's going to be a little more than 8,450, but a little less than 8,500. And here, it's just one less than 8,750, so it should be right there. How'd you do? Let's try one more. This one, try drawing your own number line. Make sure you mark each place um, to show which numbers they represent, and then place your two points and see how you can do. It's pretty tricky. If you need to, rewind the video again to see how I did it. Here comes the answer.
So on my number line, my divisions were 50 apart. Doesn't really matter if yours were or not. They could be different, which means the halfways are 25 again. So 340 would be right here, less than 350. 430 would be a little more than 425, right there. And that shows us that 340 is less than 430. That's all there is to it. Good luck with comparing numbers using a number line.